messy. <laughs> That's why I have a hat on. <laughs> yes. Okay. I think we are just about. Yes, we are. Yay. Well, hello, everyone. Donna Lewis here. Oh, no, and no, 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 no. Cindy K. Green is along with me today as my special guest. Hi, host. again. <laughs> and it is Transformed Tuesday. So get, bear with me here while I open up the live stream so that I can see what's going on here. <laughs> and... No feeling. Okay, I want to be able to see the comments if they come up. Let's see. Okay. Oh, oh nope. I don't want to go full screen. Okay, I think that should be. I think that should be good. All right. All right. So, Cindy is here with me for Transformed Tuesday, mm -hmm. and we've got a really special. Um. Breathe. Um. Transform Tuesday today because we are going to announce Woo! and show off <laughs> the all new transformed journal. So let me go ahead and um, also share screen here so that we can. Cool. Yeah, here we go. So today, um, we've got a few things going on, and um, this is a real special uh, presentation because we are going to be sharing the way of Christ, and I am so excited that Cindy is with me here to oh, um, help lead out this particular devotional. Um, John 3.16 for God so greatly loved and dearly prized the world that he even gave his one and only begotten son so that whoever believes and trusts in him as savior shall not perish, but have eternal life. So that, that Cindy was the very first Bible verse that I was ever taught to memorize. I think that's, that, that, that goes for all of us really. Yeah. Was it yours as well? Um, well, you know, I, I memorized it before I was even really walking a, a, a life of being saved. You know, oh, I would go to like BBS up the street when I was a kid, but oh, yeah. I, or my family didn't go to church, but I would go during the summer to vacation okay. Bible school. So that was one of the verses that I learned as a kid, mm -hmm. but you know, yeah. <laughs> oh, way cool. Yep. So okay. question. I like to do a quick question before every, um, uh, uh, before we dive in, just because it's fun. What's the weirdest gift you've ever gotten, Cindy? Oh my gosh. Weirdest gift I've ever gotten? Mm-hmm. Oh. I don't know. I honestly don't know. The only <laughs> thing that I can think of... <sighs> was <laughs> um when i was married to my first husband um i came home and he took me to a bird farm and he got me a bird <laughs> well okay then because um, he wanted a bird <laughs> sounds like it I, I don't really know i mean i don't <laughs> I don't know what weirdest gift I've ever gotten. I, I honestly don't. Oh, it's weird. I know. Oh, uh, that's okay. I mean, the, what's the first thing that comes to your mind when you think of a gift, though? When I think of a gift? Yeah. Um, what was the first thing that came to your mind? Time with family. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I mean, because I always tell my boys, I always tell them ever since they've been old enough to do, you know, be out on their own, uh -huh. what I want for Mother's Day, what I want for my birthday, what, which is around Thanksgiving uh -huh. and what I want for Christmas is for my kids and their families to be with me. That is my, that's what I want for my Christmas and my birthday and my Mother's Day. So that's your love. That's your love language then, right? Yeah. I, I like my kids being around. 
Mm-hmm. Quality. Most of the time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know I love them. <laughs> Boys, if you're watching, girls, if you're watching, I love you all to death. You know this. I spoil you know, your rotten. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So now on to the journal. On to the journal. I'm gonna try and minimize this. Uh, let me see if I right. minimize the screen I need here. To, uh, there we go. There we go. Some air here. There we are. So this is the new transformed journal. Oh, it was a joy to make. I enjoyed it. So tell us a little bit about these, this journal that you made, Cindy. Well, um, of and course, you know, you know, we had talked about you wanted, you wanted something to go with it. Mm -hmm. And so we went with the light blue on the outside just simply because I think it matches. It just, it just matches your, your, your book it matches who you are personally you know mm -hmm. what i see of you and your ministry and then even your uh breathe life logo breathe life right. it, it's like a light blue isn't it yeah it is okay and then you know you had the little fairy caged up in there and we talked about what we could do with it and so we put her on the front and she is like whoa yes. i am no longer caged um, that's right she's free and so then on the inside um the color of the fabric just kind of came. I mean, I have all kinds and I think that fit because it's just got all kinds of little designs and it's not mm -hmm. specific, you know, and then we have our little covers and those, those, I think for yours, I'm going to go ahead and keep that one color, solid color with the little swinging fairy on it. Yes. But the rest yeah. of them, I think will probably be, um, they're probably different that way each journal that somebody orders is still going to be unique even though it's going right. to be the same on the front right inside it will still be unique the cut the cover wise i mean the fabric will probably here. still the same that'll still that'll be still that'll still be the same okay yeah. but this um, part here will be different yes those, those covers will be different okay except maybe that one i don't know i don't know if it'll stay a gray i mean it'll probably stay a solid color since we're going to continue to put the little swinging elf on there or yeah. fairy i said elf, because mm -hmm. um, that is just so cute i love that I, you picked that one out it, i just love that well she's she's carefree that way yeah she's just enjoying you know right. i'm, I'm going to be in the presence of jesus and i'm going to enjoy so mm -hmm. yeah i like that yeah i like that you picked that out yeah um when i saw that little fairy i was reminded of a prophetic painting that my husband did Oh, wow. uh, this heart it was a human heart it was an image that he saw during um one of our wednesday night bible studies and it was this image of a human heart and it had a little door in it and little windows with light shining through but the, the uh -huh. heart had been damaged and healed yeah and then on the outside of the heart was a little girl on a swing just swinging back and uh -huh. forth and so when I saw this fairy, I immediately remembered that, and it would, to him, it just meant that you've been through pain, but then you've gone through transformation and now you're just free. And so yeah, when I yeah. saw the little fairy on the swing, I immediately remembered that painting. Oh, I bet. Yeah. Yeah. I could see that. So inside we've got journey notes. What okay, are those? Um, those are just your, that's just a basic um, notebook insert. Okay. It's lined paper where you can, you can journal on it. You can write whatever you want to write on it. As you go through, as they go through the book, they can write whatever they want to write. So like when they're doing their journaling questions. Yes. Um, yes. And then, okay, that's another one. So you get two of those. Yes. And then we've got the prayer tracker. Yes, this is something that um, I was talking to one of my good friends at church one day about tracking prayers, you know, and um, the first insert I had for prayers wasn't that simple. It was so busy. And I was oh, like, wow. you know, it's just too much. And we were talking about it. And I told her, I said, I think I just want to go with 
on one side saying, I prayed, this is what I'm praying and put a date on it. And then uh-huh. across from that, put God's answer. So oh, that's how I came up with those two pages, because that way you can write your prayer and then go on. And when you, your answer comes, you can go back and match it up to the prayer and you're going to have room there. I love know? it. And that way you don't have to add a page or, you know, whatever. And then um, I went through and added some scriptures to them. And most yeah. of them are repeating. It's not like there's a new scripture on every page. Mm-hmm. Um, I think I used four or five throughout the, throughout that little insert. Yeah. But it's, and I, uh, and, and I, it's and I pertaining to prayers and answers. I love that. And then, oh, and you've also got a way to contact you if you oh, need yes. one. Yeah. Yeah. Every, um, on the back of all of the inserts, there's my information there. If you need another insert for those, just simply um, get a hold of me and then we can get one out to you. I love that. And then the last one is, let's see. <sighs> the journey reflections yes that's a new one as well um i just designed that i think like a month or so ago and that one is just like a reflection to the day like um you're sitting in your chair at the end of the day in the evening just winding down and you want to reflect on um what was your verse for the day you know and i'm not saying you get up and you have a verse every day but at the end of the day you'll sit you know and you're sitting there thinking about what god has done for you that day it'll bring forth a verse you're going to there's going to be a verse come to you so to me that would be the verse of that day and then you have um oh my goodness what else is in there your promise did he answer promises you know oh Um, i love it and then just different things that you can reflect on throughout the day and then on the opposite page there's your little you have a little journal page in in today's notes i think or whatever what did i call it Uh uh-huh in today's Today's pages. pages yeah just you know it's just a short short place for you to journal before you go to bed and just remind yourself of what was good that day what did god bring you through that day you know oh i love that i thought that would be good to go with your go with the toxic and transformed and they they can see how god transforms them each day yes reflecting on it every evening i love that i absolutely love that and You've also got a little bookmark in here. To I do. Place. I do. And, um, and something more- else that may change is going to be that little charm you have. Okay. Um, unless I can find a bunch of them. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm hoping I can. There we go, right there. Um, I'm hoping I can find a bunch of those because it fits so perfect. And I didn't even know I had that. Um, there we go. Yeah. Yes. And then that just wraps around here. Uh-huh. And, holds and then it your little up. tassel up there. Yes. Um, hopefully I can get a bunch of the little purple tassels <laughs> and uh, keep the outside the same, which I'm sure I can. It's just a matter of finding where to order them from. Yes. Yes. Well, it's, it is absolutely beautiful. It's about the size of a, you know, your Bible. Yeah. Uh, it's not much bigger than a journal that you're going to go buy at Walmart. It's just mm-hmm. a little thicker, but it has different things. I mean, mm-hmm. yes. And it's, you know, I think that what I love about it is that it's number one, it's handmade. Aww. Um, it, It's comfortable too. It's, it, it's very comfortable in your hand. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's so weird to see to see them floating around at church you know from the ladies that have purchased them <laughs> yeah. they're using them at church it's still just i'm just i'm just like wow god you know <laughs> this, this is so neat so neat to see them floating around there so. yes yes it is i i can imagine so oh, and you got yours you won one as well did you get yes, it your, I got, i've been using it this is the yeah, one that i won yes yours yours is the prayer journal yes and i love it i absolutely love i actually it. changed it a because i wasn't gonna do i usually put the door on the prayer journal that's how they oh, were when i first okay. started creating them i put a little door with that but then i i liked that better because i don't know i just like the way that looks on there yeah, so. I love it. I absolutely love it. I love that particular scripture too, where you, you know, going in 
to your mm -hmm. closet. Right. Well, that that was actually inspired by the movie War Room. I was wondering if yes, that was uh, what it was. Because where our, our house, I don't have room for a war room right now. And I thought, right. what can I do? And I had already made me a journal. That uh -huh. journal, you know, like I said, it started out just to make me one. Mm -hmm. and I thought, well, I'm going to make a prayer journal too. And so I made a prayer journal and it had uh -huh. a couple of notebooks and a bunch of what they call dashboards, which is just the little laminated sheets that you put right. sticky notes on. Uh -huh. because that was my wall you right. know so I would open up my room and those dashboards with my wall and I had sticky sheets all over it <laughs> and uh, yeah this is mine it was oh yeah so that was the very first journal, uh -huh. journal I made it's rough looking it is rough looking. oh you've been um, using it <laughs> yeah and I have since see here's all my I still have my little dashboards in it that that I used to put sticky notes but I've kind of redone it a little bit so uh -huh. But anyhow, that's where the prayer journal was actually called a war journal. And then uh -huh. now I just call it a prayer journal. But yeah, it came from the war room. I watched I that movie it. and I was like, I need a place like that little woman. <laughs> <laughs> I want to meet that little woman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My war room. Yes. Yeah. So. Oh, that's awesome. Well, thanks with that and um oh and uh yes to order these before we move on oh yeah 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 to order these um you can either contact me on facebook um at breathe life ministries or you can go to my web page breath life ministries.com and uh there is an order form there and uh, they are $36 a piece. Uh, shipping will be based on however many you decide to order. And shipping typically runs how much, Cindy? Um, from it, it'll run from like seven fifty ish to twenty. Again, depending on how many you order. How many you order? Yeah. And uh, then I will for you. You will. Uh, you, you can PayPal me. Um, and then I will, sh I will send that order off to the journey shop to Cindy and she will fulfill that order. So easy peasy. Right. And so, um, give us the name of your website again to order them and I'm going to put it in the comments for them. Oh, okay. It is breath life ministry. So B R E A T H L I F E ministries. Is that a dot com or a dot dot com? Yeah, dot com. Okay. Uh -huh. I will put that in there. That way they know because I don't have them on any okay. of mine. Okay. They're not going to be on any of my websites or in my stores because these are connected to this book. So the only way they can get those journals to go with your book is going to be through you. Yes. Oh, and it's you can also order it. I just remembered you can also order it through the Toxic to Transformed landing page which is toxic to transformed life.com toxic oh goodness i know it's all right i know i didn't choose i i had i to do it over again my urls would be shorter <laughs> toxic to transformed life.com life. yeah life.com l-i-f-e okay ah uh. My little fat fingers are not wanting to work this morning. <laughs> All right. I got those in the comments for oh, me. And if awesome. they're wrong, just go in and say, woman, no. I can fix it. <laughs> I can fix it. Yeah. Okay. There they go. All righty. So now with that, we are going to dive into our devotional. So I'm going to go back to sharing our screen. And... So, oh, whoops, I went, I went too far ahead. So what we're going to be covering today is the gospel of Jesus. The book Toxic to Transformed is all about renewing your mind. Re renewing your mind through the word of God. But if if you don't know Jesus Christ personally, the Bible is always going to be 
very confusing to read. It, it, was that your experience, Cindy, that prior to coming to know Jesus personally, the word was just, the Bible was really difficult to understand? It was. It really, really was. It, and then um, how did that change when you came to know Jesus? Uh, it became easier to mm -hmm. understand. Um, and it, 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 it became easier to, I guess the hunger that I wanted, the hunger I had to learn kept me, um, just kept me diving in. It kept my attention, you know, but that that's for me personally, uh -huh. I wanted to know more, you know, so it became mm -hmm. easier to understand because the more I wanted to know, the more he revealed, if that right. makes any sense. Yeah. I remember for me, it was almost like a light. It, it was like a light went on. Right. And, but it was more than that. It was like this, um, it was like all of a sudden I, I could understand it. It all of a sudden, every word was alive to me. It was like read it everybody used to describe it as a love letter from god but it never came across that way right. to me until i knew jesus christ personally and then having that experience of him filling me now every word indeed did feel like it was personally written to me exactly yeah um, and then that also will, that also adds to the fact of making it easier to understand because you begin to see it as something to you yes yes so diving into the way of christ i'm just going to go ahead and read it out loud the way of christ christ is the way of transformation this devotional will make absolutely no sense without him. The Holy Spirit that flows from him is essential in this process, allowing you to comprehend the word of God. If you have not already come to understand Jesus, the anointed one, God's only son, as your personal Lord and Savior. Allow me to introduce him to you. He was born as a physical baby, the Word of God in human form. He died on the cross so that he could kill the power of unloving deeds, also known as sin. He rose from the dead, opening the doorway for access to eternal life, so we may be spiritually reborn a son or daughter of God. In order to receive the precious gift of personal relationship with him and receive the power of the Holy Spirit, you must do the following. I'm gonna to go to the next slide here because I blew it up so that you can see it better. So there's steps to receiving a new life in Jesus Christ. The first step is to acknowledge that you have fallen short of perfect loving deeds. This is sin. So Cindy, how did you come to understand what sin is i'm still learning to be honest with you <laughs> because yeah. well you know seriously though um for so long it has been only certain things were considered sin you know the things that oh. we judge as society as being awful murder right. drinking um smoking of course, adultery and all this other stuff. Mm -hmm. We have all these sins that 
are the, the oh, what's the word I'm looking for? They're, they're the ones that everybody most commonly will just straight up judge us for. Right. But in fact, if you really, really read, there are a lot more sins than those things. I mean, mm -hmm. so really, I'm still learning. I, I think when when we're called to a certain level of in our relationship with Jesus, we we begin to realize that there are things that he calls us not to do. And to right. me, if he tells me, my sweet daughter, I don't want you drinking Coca-Cola anymore. Mm -hmm. Well, to me, if I go and I disobey that and I decide, oh, well, I'm going to have a Coke. To me, that is a sin because right. I am not following the will of God in my life. So right. that's why I say I'm still learning. Yeah. Yeah. I think for me, it's, it, everything, when Jesus said the laws fulfilled in that you love the Lord, your God with all mm -hmm. your heart, strength, soul, and mind, and love your neighbor as yourself. Exactly. All of the law and the prophets stand on that one commandment. So mm -hmm. whenever he says, when he says, thou shalt not commit adultery, or thou shalt not steal, stealing and adultery violate law. I mean, I mean violate love. Yeah. They're, they're a violation of love. They are not loving and you know it doesn't mean because just like stealing for instance it's not uh -huh. just about stealing something physical from somebody right. it's about stealing love and honor from god and giving it to some something else right, you know I mean? right. there's different ways to see this and, and yeah it's not just it's black and white but it's not just black and white right the basic foundation of it all is the love of god you know it, it like you said it's it's the love and the instruction that he has for us i love you now you go love yes so you know that that's where that's where my mind goes when i think of sin right so think i and and i also think that it's really helpful to understand it in that context because if you're just simply saying well don't smoke, don't drink, don't hang out with those that do, right? Right. <laughs> right. But then again, exactly. That's it's, that's, well, the that's point. don't opinion. hang out with those that do. Why? We, you know, yeah. I mean, I'm not saying I'm gonna go sit in the middle of the bar or anything, but still, right. If I know somebody that goes, so what? Right. It's My, it, it's yeah, it's not up to me to change them or whatever. That's between them and God. All I need to do is love them and be an example and show God's love right. and grace and mercy. Because Lord knows I need grace and mercy every morning. <laughs> That's right. And and is there and then the next the next thing to understand is there is not a single one of us who has ever lived up to a perfect standard of loving others or loving God. Right. No one has ever perfectly fulfilled this in life other than Jesus Christ. Exactly, exactly. So, so we all walk on a level playing field. Mm -hmm. And that's why he says, um, oh, I just had it in my head. Mm -hmm. uh, keep pressing forward and stay in your lane, you know, those, those types of things, mm -hmm. because he knows that we're going to look to the sides and we're going to see what other people are doing and we're going to try to compete and, right. and everything. And he's like, no, right. You, you follow my will for your life, mm -hmm. you know, but the one thing all of us do have in common is to love others, regardless of where they are. Right. You know, because I mean, he loved me when I was in some real, real, <laughs> not so pretty places. <laughs> Same here. Same and, here. And today he, he doesn't love, you know, he didn't love me any less then than he does now. No. His no. love for me didn't change just because I decided to follow him. He's always loved me. As a matter of fact, sometimes I wonder if 
his love was so much more then because he knew I wasn't in love with him. Mm. But, you know, I honestly believe he, he doesn't love me any differently. It's the same now as it was then. I think what happens is that the, the, the deeper into intimacy and friendship and companionship that love relationship we go with Jesus the more aware of him we become it's it's us becoming more and more aware of his love for us and his his personality yeah um yeah. well you know like uh I was thinking of that verse and it was uh, Jeremiah 29, 13. You will okay. seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart, mm -hmm. you know, and there again, it, it's our heart and it's our love right? That, that leads us to that. So I think that is the most, one of the most important aspects of our relationship. And it's the most important aspect of walking as a newly saved child of God. Mm -hmm. you know at a time when you really don't understand anything the mm -hmm. most basic foundation you can get is let him love you and you love him and love others and start mm -hmm. there yes so the next step once you once you come to a place where you recognize that god has a perfect standard for love and you, like everyone else in the world, has not met the standard. You've fallen short. The next step is to ask God to forgive you through the sacrifice of Jesus on the cross. Jesus knew that we would never be able to perfectly live out love with one another and with him. And he knew that that failure would eternally separate us from himself unless he came down to earth as a human being and lived a perfect life and then took that sin on himself at the cross and killed it there mm -hmm. yeah yeah that's uh yeah <laughs> that's so good that's so good i mean there's just really nothing else to yeah it it was because god is just yes yeah god god you you love justice i mean we all love justice mm -hmm. oh, i mean think about it the marvel comics the justice league right we, you know um the degree in criminal justice <laughs> yes yes you yeah, you have a degree in criminal justice <laughs> yeah <laughs> and, uh, and at the same time i always i always know that god is a faithful and just god right you know because the justice of the world is not the justice of god it, no. it's not it, it's the based justice. on man and man's agenda god's yes. justice is based on his love for man right Ju god will not be bribed there's mm -hmm. nothing you could offer him th th that that he wants <laughs> exactly the only thing he ever wanted was for us to walk in fellowship with him right that's that's what he wants Right. And it's so simple. We're the ones that get it all complex and stretched out of shape. <laughs> you know, <laughs> we forget that that's that's what he wants. And he gave his son on the cross for our redemption and restoration to that relationship. That's right. That's right. He took everything on himself. Mm -hmm. And that's why he says of himself. That's why Jesus said I am the way, the truth, and the right. life. Right. 
No one comes to the Father, i.e. God, in heaven, but through me. Exactly. He's the only one that died for your sins. And the, I mean, oh gosh, I just now thought about this. And mm. this is, we know that there's God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. That mm -hmm. that is the Trinity, is the community. And I know this is a little deep for, for this section right now. But when That's you right. come at it and you see that, you realize that God himself and the Holy Spirit as well was also on that cross right because they're all three together they're all three mm -hmm. the community so that community those hearts the the heart of god the heart of jesus the heart of the holy spirit they all experience. on that cross for me you know so that i can be restored so that i can yeah. walk with jesus in my relationship and journey and when you think of that, there's, it's just awing. I mean, it's just, yeah. Oh, a level, <laughs> you know? it's a level of sacrifice. Yeah. That I, I don't know if we'll ever be able to fully comprehend. Maybe once we're in heaven and we're, you know, with him and we're unified, maybe. But in our human finite mind. Yeah. Like, like the song says, I can only imagine because I cannot wrap my brain around that. Right. You know, and even the story of Abraham and Isaac, you uh, know, oh, Abraham yeah. was instructed to sacrifice Isaac mm -hmm. and, and Abraham's going to do it. You know, yeah. he's going up that mountain and he, but he's got his faith that God's going to provide it. Right. He didn't know how, but he, yeah, he, he would. I mean, all he had to do is walk in obedience. And Honestly, I hope my faith is, is is that deep, you know? I mean, because I'm sitting here thinking, could I? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I know I would because I, I want to follow God and I want to. But at the same time, I think of my grandbabies and I'd be like, are you sure, God? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I mean, when you think of, of the sacrifice aspect of it, mm -hmm. it just really, to me, it, it hits a place in my heart where I don't deserve it. No. You know, I, I don't deserve it. How am I where I'm at? I don't deserve that sacrifice. No. I'm thankful for it and I'm grateful for it and, and I, I am blessed to have it, but right. I don't deserve it. Right, right. It, it, and that is what grace is, right? It's mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. unearned yes, love exactly. and forgiveness and favor. Um, I mean, I'm not saying I'm not worthy mm -hmm. because God makes me worthy, mm -hmm. but I did not deserve that sacrifice. No, yeah, at the level of sacrifice that was made. Mm -hmm. It, it you know it it, it is 100 percent grace it is yeah yeah it is the clearest most profound example of grace there is right exactly. then the third so you simply and and the thing is is all you have to do is ask oh uh, once you come to that profound understanding that you have fallen short of perfection in love as you've treated other people, as you've treated yourself, as you've treated God. And yet God provided for that failure through his son, Jesus. All you have to do is ask to be forgiven and you will be forgiven. And be then careful. you confess Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. That means you decree and declare to God that Jesus is your authority. 
Jesus is the only one you will ever worship. Jesus is the one that you want to fill you and mm -hmm. empower you to live as he lives with the same ideals, right? With the same values, with the same level of love. Mm -hmm. And then believe in your heart that not only did he die on the cross, but he also rose physically from the dead. In that moment, you have received your eternal life in Christ mm -hmm. Jesus. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Um, yeah, I mean, there's, there's, it, it's, yeah, confess mm -hmm. who he is. Yes. And know it in your heart. Right. You know, and, and know that. Oh, I won't say that that things won't change because things will change. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it it could it could it could be as simple you know like mine simple and quiet. Mm -hmm. I knew I was changed, mm -hmm. but it wasn't this grand scheme of things. You know, just it was just a personal intimate moment with with Jesus on my knees, confessing who he is, who mm -hmm. I want him to be, right. and, um, who I believe him to be, mm -hmm. and who I love him to be, you know? Right. right. Everybody experiences what Jesus de de described as new birth. Mm -hmm. being, he described it as actually being born again, but this time it's your spirit that's mm -hmm. being born again. Exactly. It's it's being resurrected. Apart from Jesus, we are the walking dead. <laughs> exactly. I mean, there are so many songs about it. Um, yeah. Is it Jeremy Camp that has one? Um, almost like Dead Man Walking or something like yeah. that. I was a dead man walking. Right. I think it's Jeremy Camp yeah and and then when you experience the gift of jesus christ coming alive in your spirit you are literally reborn and resurrected you feel and experience new life exactly you have a new hope yes you have new expectations you know mm -hmm. um Everything doesn't seem so dark and dismal. Right. Yeah. Right. And then ask, the fourth and final step is to ask to be filled by God's Holy Spirit and invite the Holy Spirit to renew and transform your mind and heart. We just celebrated St. Patrick's Day. Right. And that's represented by a sometimes a four-leaf clover, but other times a three-leaf clover. And Saint pa I learned that St. Patrick used the, the three-leaf clover to explain the Holy Spirit, to, to explain the, the, the three natures of God the Father, the Son, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. Right. But they're all one, they're all one, just like a three-leaf clover is. And the Holy Spirit, the way Jesus described the Holy Spirit, is that he fills us like a, like a temple and like a, like a, like a holy place. Yes. And he comforts us. He talks with us. <clears throat> he, he helps us to understand the word of God. He teaches us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
he lets us know when we're getting ready to step off a ledge. <laughs> yeah, thank goodness. <laughs> Have you ever had any of those experiences? Oh my gosh, yes. Uh, <laughs> and I finally learned how to recognize it. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Um, sorry, I had to get me some air going over here. That's okay. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just those moments where I'm just, it's, it's like a really severe anxiety attack. My stomach's in knots. I'm just Ooh. like, what in the world? Everything is just, uh -huh. uh, and I just have to stop and be still and be like, right. okay, what's going on? You know, show me, show me what's going on. Show me what I need to do, what I don't need to do, where I need to be, where I don't need to be. <laughs> right, right, yeah. right. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So those are the four steps to a new life in Christ Jesus. Um, I've included sometimes, you know, sometimes we know how to pray. We understand that it's just a conversation, mm -hmm. but other times we need a guide. So I created this little prayer of faith. And if you have come to the place where you realize you've been trying for a long time to do it on your own, that you keep falling short of the goal every time, or you're, you'll go for a little while and then do pretty good. And then all of a sudden it's like you take 12 or 30 steps backwards. Right. Jesus wants you to know that you don't have to do it on your own. That's why he died on the cross. That's why he wants to make his home inside your very being and pass on his resurrection life into you. If you would like to receive Jesus Christ as your savior, I'm just going to pray this prayer out loud and you pray with us right now. Dear Jesus, I know I have fallen short in following your law of love. I've sinned against myself and others and therefore against you. I confess I am heartbroken over my failure to follow your ways. I understand I am powerless to do what pleases you on my own. I need a new heart and a new mind. I know you desire to give me these. I believe that you are God's son and that you died on the cross to take the justice for my sins. I know and believe you rose again, making a way for me to be transformed. I ask to be forgiven of my sins and forever changed into a son or daughter of God, just like you. Please fill me now with your Holy Spirit. Empower me to understand and follow your words of life. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Now, if you just prayed that, I want you to contact me or Cindy, and I will send you this book free. Just contact oh. me just contact me and I will send that to you to get started on your new life in Christ. That's and you awesome. can, and you can contact me or Cindy through our journey, through your journey shop. Right. Right. Um, or even here on Facebook or just on Facebook. Yeah. Um, and, and you can follow us at christianwomenliving.com. There's all kinds of resources at christianwomenliving.com. Yes, and there's more coming. And more coming <laughs> for your new walk in Christ. There's lots of lots of resources at Breathe Life Ministries as well. 
So yeah, if you just prayed that, please contact us and let us know. We don't want you to start out your walk all by yourself. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> we all need that hand. Even, yes. you know, even if you think somebody is, oh, we, we just all need it. You know, yeah. nobody's, nobody's got it all together. No. You know, every time you progress and, and, and you move from one glory to another, as they say, mm -hmm. you still need that somebody with you, mentor or sister or brother or whoever to walk with you and, and continue because that person walking with you, who's right. helping you, they have somebody helping them and yes. they have somebody helping them. Yes. You know, none of us, none of us have arrived unless we're in heaven yeah <laughs> and then our journey is done yeah yeah <laughs> well with that i want to just take a quick peek and see if anybody's asked any questions um let's see here i don't know i'm not seeing i didn't either i don't see any questions if you have questions or comments don't hesitate and you're watching on the recast that is fine if you're watching this on the recast no problem at all just um go ahead and leave your questions leave your comments there in the comments and we will respond to them thank you for joining us today on transform tuesday thank you cindy well thank you for having me and and thank you for um supporting me through ordering your journals to you know to setting up journals for your book that that's an honor it was really oh. i was really honored to have you come to me and, and talk oh. about that so oh, i feel well, privileged to work with you oh thank you well it's you know it's something that i've been actually thinking about for a long time and it just made perfect sense it made perfect sense to go through you with the journey shop cool yeah so thank you i'm excited about that resource I know. Well, so much to come <sighs> No kidding. <laughs> yes, there is more to come. More, more to come. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and end this live. And I thank you guys. Uh, and we will see you next week on Transform Tuesday. Bye, everyone.